What's good, YouTube? I'm QL. This is my sneaker channel. And I'm back for another weekly sneaker rotation. Week 11. So, I had a busy week. Um, at the end of the month, I do monthly reports. Every other week, I have to do staff and reports. And, you know, I, I, I just got out and did my thing. Handled my business. Got all that squared away. Had a good week. The sun was out sometimes. It's a little cold and indie. But, still had a good time overall. So, Without getting into too many things, we might as well get into the sneaker rotation. Let's go ahead, before we get into that, go ahead and smash that like button if you like these sneaker rotation videos. And drop comments of other things that you'd like for me to do. Because there's a variety of different things I do throughout the city and when I go out of town and stuff like that. But sometimes I don't put all that in there. If you'd like to start seeing more of that type of stuff, then go ahead and let me know down in the comments section. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into Monday. Alright? On Monday, I dro dropped out with the Triple Black Uncaged Ultra Boost. This is my everyday shoe. This, uh, I don't know if this is a beater, or, but uh, if I keep working it like I'm working it, it's going to end up being a beater. Might need to go pick me up another pair of these. Um, I might not get the, uh, the, uh, the Uncaged. I might go get the Cage so I can rotate them back and forth. But I got out. I did my thing. Held it down. This is the shoe that I wore on Monday. On Tuesday, I had to get up and go. I had staffing on Tuesday, and I also wanted to try to get most of my monthly reports done. I seen like maybe three or four clients. I wore the, not, this isn't the recent most retro, because you'd be like, Dad Q, you beat the brakes off of these. However, this is a pair that I had since when they dropped before, um, which is 2007. Um, I've thought about doing a restoration video on these, because you could easily go back in and repaint all of this and I almost have a brand new shoe again. If you guys want to see a video of me doing a full restoration on these joints, as far as bringing them back, let me know down in the comments section. But this is the shoe that I wore on Tuesday. On Wednesday, I was out styling and profiling and wore the Black History Month LeBron 14s. Um, I told you guys I was going to start wearing these joints casually. I wore some uh, Rock Revival jeans to go with them. And if you don't follow me on Snups, make that happen. Um, QL Holla, you can get me as QL Holla or you can get me as Metro 63 on the, uh, on the Snups app, I'm sure. Um, and every Wednesday, I'm guaranteed to drop my hump day shoe. But this is the shoe that I wore on Wednesday and a lot of people liked it. Alright? On Thursday, Thursday the sun was out, and I had been waiting on the sun to come out and for it to be dry for me to dry, pull these back out. I bought these over the winter time. Um, I made sure I rocked them at least once on a dry day. But this is the triple white uncaged ultra boost with the reflective. Any of these spots that look like they're gray, they're 3M and they reflect in when you hit them with the proper light or if it's in the dark and the light hits them. Um, I, I can not say enough good things about the Ultra Boost or the Boost system that Adidas uses. Um, there's not a shoe that I've ever worn that has the Boost that that, that I didn't like. Uh, just some uh, some I like more than others because I've said things about the NMD, but I've seen a, a a fix for that by putting the insole inside the NMD, which should make it feel like the Ultra Boost, which is what the person that reviewed it said. I'm gonna go ahead and try that out. I'm gonna get back to y'all, let y'all know how I feel about it. But this is the shoe that I wore for Thursday. On Friday, I brought back Nike Air Fridays. Wore the Nike Air Max 1 Ultra Fly Knit. I think that's the proper name for it. I always get confused when they when they put an extra, extra long name on it. But these are lightweight. I've done a review on these. If I didn't do a review on this color, I did a review on the other color. I'll have a card for that up above, and you can go ahead and check that review out. Um, I went to Country Kitchen as always. I got an old head, an older gentleman that, that has been doing concrete forever, like an 83-year-old. He comes sometimes comes to sit at my table before other people come, and he's always dropping knowledge on me, and I, and I appreciate when he does that. Um, also, I hung out with the boys Friday night. We went to the dugout, which is our spot. We ran into a little trouble with the fuzz that evening, but because that's our spot downtown, the people, though the bar was closed, the bartender came back to the door, opened it up, made sure that we was good, told us that we could come back in if we needed to, but it turned out to be okay. 
But this is the shoe that I wore for Friday. On Saturday, I got out and I kicked it. Those ones came out. A whole lot of stuff dropped that morning. Um, it turned out it could have been an easy guy for me. There's a, a city gear like maybe five, six blocks away. Um, my Facebook group was telling me that there was no line and people was just going in and doubling up. Um, by noon it was over. Everybody got their pair. I tried to get it on the Nike app. Kinda, but I, you know, I've talked to you about my problems with Nike, and I'm still not satisfied that Nike's taking care of it. But I wore my Kif collaboration with Adidas Consortium um, Ultra Boost Mids in the Prime Net. Uh, I went to Got Soul. If you haven't watched that pickup, go ahead and watch that pickup. There'll be a link for that up above. Um, I kicked it in there. I picked up a pair of shoes. And then I kind of, I also went to the Lids outlet for the first time. It was an okay place. I'll have to go back in there again. I might even show you the pickup. I just picked up another Yankees cap. If you don't know, I wear a lot of different Yankees caps. Though it seems like sometimes I'm always wearing the same Yankees cap. It's usually a different Yankees cap. But this is the shoe I wore for Saturday. And we can get ahead and get into Sunday. Today is Sunday. As you know, I hoop on Sunday. So today I'll be wearing my 28 Westbrook's home colorway. I believe that's what it is. Uh, I love the support that the 28's give me. Uh, if you haven't watched the video for that, I'm not going to link that video. You just have to go find it. Um, the 28's is actually the shoe that brought me back into the sneaker game. Before that, I was wearing whatever, whatever, whatever. It didn't really even matter. Um, I wore a whole lot more like, uh, like a Clark's or a Doc Martin or or Tim's or stuff like that. I had really gotten away from the sneakers outside of really caring about them. But tonight I'll be hooping and I'll be wearing the Restbook 28's home colorway. Alright guys, that's another sneaker rotation for week 11. Um, as I said before, go ahead and smash that like button, comment, subscribe if you haven't subscribed. You can reach me on social media as QLHala on Twitter. Metro 63 on Instagram and the Snubsap. If you can find me on Facebook, I'm QL Holland. I need if there's any other social media that I really need to get into, let me know. I got a Snapchat, but I don't really post anything to Snapchat because I don't think what I talk about in real life is that interesting. But maybe that'll change. Um, other than that, Metro to the sky, QL till I die. Peace. Cooking in the bottom of a coke can. I've been around this shit long before NWA came out with the dope man. Four years old, chilling with the niggas at the method.